Meanwhile, Kaohsiung Mayor Chen Ju was shocked to learn that more than 250 metric tons of propane still remain in a pipeline operated by China Petrochemical Development days after the deadly gas explosions. The city's Environmental Bureau said that only 30 tons of the deadly gas had been cleared today, despite the mayor's call for swifter action. This chemical unit is carrying out careful monitoring because a day earlier, China Petrochemical Development Corporation admitted 260 tons of propane had remained in their pipeline, creating the threat of a secondary explosion. 30 tons were removed yesterday. The speed has been very slow. Originally, there's 260 tons. We removed 30 tons, leaving 230 tons. At this rate, we estimate it will take eight days to complete this work. Therefore, we ask China Petrochemical Development to quicken the pace of this work. We can't allow such a dangerous situation to continue in Kaohsiung. So I'm asking China Petrochemical Development to do its best. The Kaohsiung city government is rightfully alarmed by the current situation as just a 2% concentration of propane could cause an explosion if ignited, a potential accident which Kaohsiung cannot afford to experience again.